Hey guys, welcome back to another video over here on the Chinese Zodiac and Horoscopes. Today we're going to be doing a reading for you guys born in the year of the snake. So welcome back all my snaky friends. It is of course Karmic Wednesdays, the day we do the readings for the Karmic signs, the dragon and the snake. So welcome back. Let's see how you are doing after last week of communicating and compromising let's see just gonna move these around a little bit shuffle them up and get a feel for it so that we can stop about hmm, there I think. yeah we'll take that one from the bottom We'll take that one from the middle. We'll take this one from the top. What have we got? Three blacks. Okay. So a bit of a negative start. But this isn't necessarily a bad thing. Black isn't always an attack. And you are a negative sign. You are in the negative and you are the negative sign of karma. So potentially, this isn't all bad at all. It all depends on what it is when we flip them over. Just remember that. Black isn't always an attack. White isn't always all right. We got the rat, so it's not all bad. It's not all bad because the snake is quite compatible with the rat. They do get on very well and they do have similarities, like for example, pre planning. And I think right now you are planning something. You're getting into, I suppose, in some ways, the swing of change or you're getting ready for um, a shift, potentially. Um, maybe you're moving house. Maybe you are changing jobs. Maybe there is something happening that you are that ha happening that you are unaware of. But whatever it is, it's something that's sad, or it's there's emotion involved. You know, there's interest there, and I think right now that interest that you have is keeping you invested in it, and that's why it is sad. You don't want to say goodbye. You don't want to move on. You don't want to let go. But you have to. Sometimes you have to let go of these things. Sometimes you have to move on from these things. Of course, it could be something as simple as, you know, breaking your favourite mug. Or something as little as that. We're not looking at massive life-changing things here. We're not looking at huge, massive events. Sometimes it is as simple as that. But you are also pre-planning. You're writing lists. You're Potentially, you are behind on your lists. Potentially, you have fallen behind. And this is why it's making you feel a little bit on edge. Because you don't like being behind schedule, you don't like not being aware of your situation, you don't like feeling out of control. So potentially you're on edge right now and you're just trying to keep that control that you have. You're trying to maintain some kind of balance or hold it all together, almost. But it is okay if you drop it sometimes. And if you have dropped it, that's all good. Let's just slow down. And pick up the pieces. Really, just sort of, you know, just bring it to a almost slow crawl rather than rushing around all the time. Because if you drop stuff and it is all over the place and you feel like you can't handle it all, you need to take a step back, pre plan, preempt, kind of have a game plan in place. Like a list, <laughs> like a to do list of how to. Well, not even a to-do to -do list, but more of a, a method sheet. The method of how to get yourself out of this madness. And if anybody's going to do it, it's going to be you, because you are a snake person with a mind that is able to do such things. Um, you are part of that thinker triangle. And that thinker triangle is as, as it is on the tin. They're very good with their minds. And with that rat now telling you that your plans aren't necessarily going to reach to your expectations, time to evaluate, reevaluate them, time to kind of make a new list of how to deal with the mess of what may potentially become of this. You need to, you need to kind of like watch your own back. You need to put this effort in, this work in now to, to hold it all together. It is on you. And we've got that dog there right now as well as a sign of uh, of protection, needing to look out for yourself, needing to, in some ways, I don't know, uh, have your back. The snake and the dog, they, they can get on relatively well. They have a mutual respect for each other. And I think right now you're just shying away from confrontation. 
because you're going to get dragged into this confront this confrontation especially with signs that you're not compatible with right now you're trying to remain amicable to people or amicable to the stuff that's going around you but again you're all in a bit of a tiz because your intuition your gut feeling you know the stuff that guides you it's getting you all over the place you're a bit confused because again your plans haven't reached expectations so how can you tackle that because if you plan for something to happen and then that didn't happen as you expected what do you do next what is the protocol what is the thing that you need to think on your feet and if you've been knocked off your feet and this has knocked you back a bit and now you're finding yourself in a position where you are vulnerable and you are feeling a little bit upset and a little bit sad and a little bit lost and a little bit like uh, things aren't getting done the way you wanted them to potentially you are going to get agitated frustrated a little bit aggressive and conflict may come from that so you need to yep yeah, persevere yes be dedicated and persistent and 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 committed to it yes but try not to get jealous or sort of i don't know frustrated that some people may seem like they're in a better place or getting on better than you you don't know how they live their lives and you know this is this is a uh this is not a bad spread let's just say that so far the rat and the dog are relatively compatible with you it's just you aren't feeling as happy because you had expectations that however is unfortunate because that is actually a card that you could do without the boar but the negative boar and this is why you've had to pre-plan because now things are changing things are changing you've got a pig catalyst which is a slow catalyst comes in very slowly and most people most people can deal with that most people are, are okay with that you however do not like this you don't like this because you find it untrusting when something moves in slow like this it's suspicious why doesn't it just come in quick why doesn't it just get on with it why doesn't it just you know do what it needs to do and just bugger off why is it coming in very slow like this and this is the question that you keep asking yourself why can't it just happen why can't it just be now but it's not going to because this catalyst this change this shift it has to happen it has to happen because you are building up to it through writing your own list of expectations to begin with and because now that that expectation hasn't been reached you're in a negative place you know lack of confidence maybe feeling a little bit down maybe feeling a little bit lost unappreciated feeling like your efforts have been wasted or whatever but now you have to make a new plan up again now change is coming in now change is inevitable because everything didn't go the way it was except it didn't uh, sorry it didn't go as you expected to begin with so now you have to change your position you have to change your uh, plan you have to change where you are sat so, two things to do, either fight against it, which, you know, this may not be the best time to do that. You want to stay away from conflict, no matter how much frustration is there, and ride it out. And that's the second option. Ride it out. Ride it out or fight against it. My advice is to ride it out because it's only temporary and it won't stay around forever. Yes, it's slow. Yes, it's coming in slow, but it won't be like that forever. Things will change. Things will start to shift over. Things will start to feel different soon enough. And we'll find out, won't we, next week when we come back and do another reading for you guys born in the year of the snake. I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully. Don't hold me to it. <laughs> for the horse and the sheep, I'll try and get them done tomorrow if I can. This is my last really busy weekend, so I'm hoping to get it done. No, it's not. Sorry, I've got two really busy weekends left and sometimes my weekends get really busy from Thursday all the way up till Monday. I've got two really busy ones left, this one and the next one. So after that, we should be getting back to normal. But if you're not interested, it doesn't really matter. I'll just see you next Wednesday when we come back and do another karmic video for the karmic signs. Another reading for the karmic signs. Thanks for watching, guys. Love and peace.